What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now in today's video, we are trying out the brand new summer collection from e.l.f. Cosmetics, bitch. This is allegedly jelly makeup, jelly skincare, it's watermelon infused, and all over social media, you guys have been like, Jeffrey, review this collection. So, I hopped on Snapchat and I showed you guys the PR package. We're just gonna start this video right now. I'm a little jaded. I've gotten a lot of PR packages over the last few years. So to impress me, girl, it's a little difficult. But let's grab this. The <laughs> I can't believe it. A refrigerator. Look at the mini fridge for the makeup and skincare. It's inside here. Look at the cord. Look at the light. This has been plugged in for um, a few days. The makeup and everything in here. It's cold. You guys want to hear it? Listen. Okay, so this is actually on, um, I don't know how cold the climate in this uh, refrigerator is, but we are going to find out in a minute. You guys want? Ooh, all right. Here is what the PR package looks like. There's a lot here. Like, hi, how are ya? There's lip glosses, there's eye gloss, there's moisturizer, there's face cleanser, there's primer, there's a brush, and we're going to try it all right now. Okay, so everything, voila, is right here. We're gonna test it out. Now the first thing is actually a cleanser that is supposed to get rid of makeup, dirt, and oil. Um, so we're gonna wash my face really quickly. And of course you guys know I got my little skincare bowl. You may recognize this from me and Shane reviewing the Kylie skin. It's just me. <laughs> Shane, I can't breathe. <laughs> Um, so there is a cleanser and a lot of people are like, Jeffrey, first of all, what, how, like, how does it compare to Kylie's? And I'm like, girl, we don't know yet. But first of all, here is what it looks like. Now the products in the refrigerator, of course, are cold. So if it looks a little weird, it's defrosting live on camera. It almost looks like a, um, oh my God, Christian, when you were a kid, did you ever have the hubba bubba squeeze tube no, things? No, I don't know what those are. Yeah. We're going to throw up a picture of those. Bam! <laughs> um, definitely reminiscent of my childhood. I love the packaging. I think for a drugstore brand, it's definitely different. And a lot of brands nowadays are boring the house. Um, so for e.l.f. to really come hard with this and not have their standard black packaging, bitch is shook. So what does this versus this look like? Girl, I have no idea. Um, we all know that I tested this out with Shane. So what's the point of this? It's supposed to tingle? And well, like I, no, it's supposed to not tingle. <laughs> Uh oh, <laughs> okay, let's review this, but um, before we do that, you guys, it's time for a Red Bull, and if you guys didn't know, I make metal straws, so if you want to stop putting plastic straws inside the ocean, honey, head on over to JeffreeStarCosmetics.com. We have new black metal ones, we have stoner green, beautiful blue, and of course the iconic Jeffree Star pink. Um, so if you want to support uh, the world and only stick to metal straws, the link in my bio. Okay, let's start. Ooh! All right, so the watermelon jelly cleanser is supposed to really get my face ready for the day. Now, this item is only $8. Okay, work. Let's just try it out. So, allegedly, this is going to get rid of all the makeup, oil, and dirt. It is watermelon infused. It can be used all over the face and eyes to melt away stubborn makeup, cleanse the skin, and it's going to leave my face plump and hydrated. It has watermelon extract vitamin B5. Okay, so let's see what really happens here. I'm gonna put my hair back for a second. Okay, so I do need to wet my skin before I put the product on. Let's put these sleeves back, honey. Ooh. Okay, let's try not to get water everywhere and ruin myself. Oh, girl. Dampen the skin. Hi. Okay, looking like a drowned rat. All right, so here is the product, of course. Let's put some on my hands. Ooh, it's like baby pink. Oh my God, it really does smell like watermelon. It smells delicious. And the fact that the product is cold from being in the fridge, ooh, it feels really good. Okay, so we're supposed to rub this all over in circular motions, rinse with a warm, uh, rinse with warm water and pat dry, okay? Now allegedly, you can put this all over your eyes. I don't really have any makeup on my eyes. So we are not going to do that, bitch, please. <laughs> mm, okay. Oh my God, this smells so fresh and just, it smells really nice. Okay. Now I like it because it didn't sud up, um, which means it's not gonna give me that astringent, really harsh, foamy, um, stripping my skin effect. Thank God. I think we've uh, definitely massaged this face enough. 
Let's rinse. All right, got my washcloth. Let's wipe this off. It is so crazy to do like skincare reviews in the beauty room. It's messy and I love it. Okay. <sighs> I feel like Yoli Glow right now, getting my facial and Snapchat. Mm. Wow, okay, let me pat my skin dry and let's see how we're feeling. Okay, skin, how are we feeling? Let's let this hair down a little bit. Hi, honey. Okay, let's actually feel our skin and let's give you real first impressions. Okay, I don't wanna keep comparing it to the Kylie Review because this is nothing obviously alike, but an $8 product versus a product that is $20 plus, this one I already like, oh, my skin actually feels good. And you're probably like, Jeffrey, how can a cheaper cheaper product work better? You you know the tea. That, that's how the world works nowadays. A lot of people are trying to trick us. But overall, it feels good. Is it mind-blowing and my life's changed? Absolutely not. But overall, a good start. Okay, so there is a water gel moisturizer and a primer. So hi. Let's open up our little refrigerator and let's get this bitch out. Hi, honey. Okay, so... Oh, this is like glued in. Like, you see the cap is not in there? By the way, I love how this looks. I'm gagging at the packaging. Okay, that cap is stuck in there. Bitch! Mother. Oh my god! Okay, got that out. Jesus, take the wheel. They wanted to secure the package. Okay, let's try the moisturizer. Ooh, it is sealed right here. I love that. Now, of course, if you guys did not know, Elf is all vegan all cruelty-free in their ingredients, which I live for. So this only retails for $8, of course. Let me go on their website, everybody. Now, allegedly, this is a skin hangover. Hi. So it has watermelon, castor oil infused. Um, it is a unique gel to liquid texture that will quickly absorb into the skin for a boost of instant hydration. Put under makeup or alone. Well, we need the moisturizer and the primer, bitch, so let's uh, put some on. It says apply evenly to the skin, a morning or night. All right, let's take the seal off. Ooh, hello. Okay, oh, how, this, okay, living. I know it's like simple packaging, but I just love how it looks. It's aesthetically pleasing. All right, ready? Okay. Oh, it smells really good. It actually smells amazing. Okay, so let's take that and... Oh, like what does this feel like? <gasps> Whoa. Okay. I see what they mean by the texture. It kind of like... Whoa, okay. Here we go. Oh, the smell. I'm such a watermelon whore that I really enjoy this. Okay, let's really get it in the skin. Now I do have a big face, so I will need a, uh, need a little bit more. And, whoa, the texture is definitely interesting. I like it. Now you guys know I gotta cover my entire neck. Hi, Grandma, how you feeling, girl? Mm. All right, it's been about 30 to 40 seconds, and let's see how we feel. Okay, this one feels nice, but it isn't giving me, it almost feels kind of primary, if you know what I mean. Like it's giving, it's like a little tackiness. There is a primer to try that we will do in a second, but it isn't giving me like full, like saturated moisture. Like my skin isn't gagging and living, um, but it definitely feels supple and like normal, but it isn't like, mm, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to compare it to like my normal everyday routine or if I put on like a primer like the Bobbi Brown. Um, and it isn't like the best feeling, but my face does feel refreshed. Um, okay, let's move on to the Dewy Primer. Now this will be retailing for $10. And what is this supposed to do, everybody? This is a multitasking primer, unique gel texture, of course. It is gonna work like glue to grip my makeup to ensure that it stays put. This, of course, has a lot of crazy ingredients. It has hyaluronic acid, vitamin A, C, and E, watermelon extract again. So it says, put on the entire face evenly. Wait 30 seconds before applying makeup. Okay, cool. Um, I love a primer. Let's see if this is any different than this. Oh, yeah. You see that? That was a lot thicker. Let's try that again. Ooh, it almost feels like the gel cleanser, which it's obviously not, but okay. I'm gonna take a little um, Morphe JS3 brush, and I'm just gonna apply this. Ooh, you see how thick that is? <gasps> Ooh, I love that. Okay, let's see how this looks on the face. 
I love using a synthetic brush. Obviously you can use your hands, but this kind of applies it everywhere. Um, and if you're wondering what the hell happened here, I was doing some uh, skin work earlier and extracting, so excuse my redness. Whoa, that is sticky. And that is great for foundation, but look at my face. It's like, ooh, I wanna see if you guys can hear that. <laughs> Usually sticky is a bad thing, but I really think it's gonna be great for the makeup. So, holy shit. Okay, let me do the other side of my face. Be right back. All right, the primer, I don't know how it works, obviously, yet. We're gonna lay down some foundation um, real quickly, but it feels really tacky. I'm talking like tacky. Um, I wanna compare it to this crazy $120 Sicily primer. That's kind of how it ma it's making my skin feel, which this is my favorite primer of 2017, I believe. So that's a big feat. It's time to put on foundation. Obviously there's no new foundation to try. It's an e.l.f. Uh, video. Let's just put on an e.l.f. foundation. What is this? Shade Beige in the Flawless Finish Foundation. I did do a review um, of this, a full face of e.l.f. about four to five months ago. If you wanna see how this performed fully, I will leave it um, down below. Let's quickly put on some foundation right now and let's just see how it looks. I'm gonna go in with my um, Morphe Jeffree Star Pink Beauty Sponge. Ooh, bitch. Oh, I remember how full coverage this thing was. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's uh, cover my face and see what happens. Okay, now first impressions, the foundation really stuck to that primer, like it's stuck. Now if you want something that is a little more pore filling um, or you have like crevices or anything that you want to fill, um, wrinkles, deep pores, I would say that the poreless putty foundation from e.l.f., which I made sell out in a record breaking time I must say myself, um, that primer, unreal. This one, pretty good. Elf might be coming as like the king and queen of affordable primers. So this one though, it really laid down the foundation. I have nothing really to complain about, except I can see a little bit of my pore area and texture, which I mean, listen, we're about to do concealer and powder. So for $10, I'm like, okay, primer, how you doing? I need a little bit of life to my face. So let's go in with a little bit of Magic Star Concealer. Shade C5, Miss Infamous Robbery, finally back in stock, and there'll be a very big restock of every other shade, hopefully next month, you guys, like, <sighs> Hi, 2019, relax. You know what's so crazy, Christian? I'm sitting here, and earlier, like, I was really picking at my skin right here. And I'm sure people on the camera are like, oh my god, what the fuck? Like, it almost looks like, almost looks like an allergic reaction, but I was really picking crazy, and I was using rubbing alcohol. So hi, everyone, for the first time, seeing my allergic reaction. So let's keep <laughs> blending and pray my face doesn't fall off. We all know Magic Star Concealer is a nice, breathable full coverage formula. Look at that, you guys, hi. You want airbrush skin? Girl, this formula is everything. Ooh, okay, Magic Star and Elf really look cute together. Um, I am going to set my face, do a little bit of bronzer, and be right back to finish the review. Let's continue now. Let's open up our refrigerator one more time. Whoa, okay. First of all, there is this brush right here. The stipple brush, hi. Stipple and steeple in, girl. Okay, this will not come out. Oh, I'm gonna break the damn star man. These are glued in here. Holy shit. Okay, I got the products out. That Gorilla Glue, Jesus! All right, I got the crazy glue off, so let's try out the Flush Blush. Now, this has two shades. We are going in with, what is this shade called? No fucking idea. That's what shade work it's called. <laughs> this is a unique jelly textured br uh, blush. It is going to melt into my cheeks for a sheer wash of color and sheen without stickiness. It has vitamin E, argan oil, and it's gonna give my skin a radiant glow. Okay guys, let's give it a whirl. The shade is called Peach Pop, and um, I'm supposed to blend with the apples of my cheeks with this brush. 
Now, of course, here is this brush. It is a part of the collection, and what do we think this retails, you guys? This, of course, is vegan, the brush is synthetic, and this is $8. Okay, let's open her up. What does it look like? Oh, wow. Look at that, Christian. It's shaking in there. <laughs> we give it a whirl. <gasps> Whoa, oh my god, okay, that's crazy. Look at how it looks, like. Let me just try this on the back of my hand really quickly. Oh, look at that, though, what? Okay, that's a lot of product, Jesus H. Let's give it a whirl on the apples of my cheeks. Oh, wow, okay, definitely sheer. Obviously, a lot of product came off on the back of my hand, so let me go back in. Oh, wow. It's weird, because I expected it to kind of go like, like, because it's jelly, but it's going really pretty. Maybe because it's the brush. Um, I need more product. Okay. Whoa. That's crazy. And if you ever go too ham like this, take a sponge. Shear that bitch right down. Like, oh, no ma'am. Now, blush like this, I don't live for. I think it can kind of look a little streaky. Now, here it's kind of pretty, and then when I turn this way... Almost looks like I got punched in the face, <laughs> and I'm not into that. So let me try to dull this down a little bit. Okay, that looks a little better. <laughs> it was looking a little rough. All right, Miss Jelly Pop Blush. Definitely a little weird, not my favorite. I'm not really liking how it's looking exactly. I think the color is pretty, but the formula, a little weird. Okay, now let's try the face and eye gloss. Um, these retail for only $6. There's two shades. Now this says, get the wet makeup look with glossy lids and dewy skin. Multi-purpose face and eye gloss gives a sheer wash of shimmer to the cheeks and eyes, creating a mesmerizing, glistening, dewy effect. We'll see about that. Now, oh my god, there is glue all over this. Okay, one is more pink and iridescent. Oh, shit! It's a little cummy. Hold on. Okay, so that shade looks like that. Whoa, okay. And the other one looks like pure diamonds. Look at that. Ooh, okay, I gotta, I gotta feel this. Like, what does this feel like? Is it gonna be sticky? Whoa, okay. On the skin, though? Whoa, okay. I'm a little shook. Is this going to be really sticky? That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, well, only one way to find out. It says face and eyes. Oh my god, you guys, I hate hate eye gloss. I rarely use them on my channel because usually you like look up and your eyes are glued together. Does this do that? Let's find out. Oh my god. It feels really weird and like it's not supposed to be on the eye. Oh, I got some on my nose. Looks like I'm sweating. Whoa. Okay, what do you think, Christian? It definitely looks wet. It looks cool. It looks actually kind of cool, huh? Um, and you know what's weird is I've tried the eye gloss where I like, when I blink, it like really sticks. It's not sticky. Like, is it supposed to set? This is tripping me out. Okay, so I was checking the site really quickly because I was like, what the hell? All it says is, is use your finger to warm up the product, dab lightly onto cheeks and eyes. Best worn alone for a natural dewy look. So I wonder if you put this on your like bare skin without foundation, how it would look, because it can kind of pull the product away. But I'm a little shook that my lids don't feel sticky. Let me test it now. Okay, it is a little sticky on the skin, so if you were to walk by like a dirt windmill or something, or like <laughs> walk in a grassy field, it may really just like give you a new look and be stuck, but. All right, let me try the other shade here. This is crazy, the texture is just bizarre. I don't wanna like ruin my foundation, but I mean, this is what we're here for. Okay, whoa. Oh my God, it looks like I'm like freshly like just had sex with a little bit of glitter on. <gasps> and I'm patting with my finger obviously and it's not pulling all of the product off, which is really nice. I'm a little shook right now. Huh, pretty, it's like skin glass, honey. Oh my god, I'm a little shaken at how pretty this looks. Like, I almost wish the blush wasn't there because it's still kind of bothering me, but look at how it looks on the skin. It's like, ooh, it's really pretty. I'm shook. Okay, only thing is I did touch my bridge of my nose with it and the foundation did kind of lift off, which I assume that it did say use on a bare face. I, uh, 
Me? Uh, no. So, wow, I like how it looks. I'm shocked because I really don't like glossy things. Eye gloss, I've always hated every formula. But, little shocked, but yeah, it does still feel wet. See over here my finger? It did lift some of the foundation. So if you want to try this without foundation, it would probably be even extra sickening, but it's still laid. It's, it's still looking pretty. Last product. Of course, hi. With all of this jelly stuff, there has to be a jelly, juicy gloss. So, okay, oh my god. There, okay, so there's four lip glosses. We got a crazy purple, we have a pink, we have a strawberry kind of moment, and then we have an orange. Okay, so there's four shades. Retail is... $5. Now, what is this supposed to do? It's a lip gloss, you guys. Do we really need to talk about it? Let's put on our damn lips and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, now I have foundation on my mouth. Let's maybe take that off a little bit and see how juicy this is gonna look. Oh, I love the applicator, really easy. There, that's how she looks. Oh, it smells really good. It's like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Hi, how are ya? That is glossy. Let's say cum dripping, stunning glossy. <gasps> oh! It feels good, literally no stickiness at all. They really did that. It's very watermelony, but it isn't like I want to gag. Like, you know how with some sense it's like, Ugh. Okay, obviously I'm not getting a lot of uh, hot pinkness on the lips. I'm getting very clear. Ooh, I love all the gloss. Pop a lash on, honey, I'm ready for a fucking orgy. Okay, so let's just see the other purple. Like, is this actually purple or is this just clear? Like, elf, don't try me. So let's just kind of go that way. I mean, there's a little color in there. Barely mistinted moisturizer the the house. Yeah, so basically, no shade. All the shades are gonna kinda look the same. Like, let's try this one. Like, it looks dark there, and then when you sheer it out, like if it was on your mouth, yeah, there's not that much color. I mean, there's a little bit there. Not, not you know, not too bad, but spare me. Oh my god, okay, I, I had no idea what to expect. It came at a refrigerator, you guys, and I was like, what is happening around this house? I think I'm ready to give my final thoughts. I definitely want some mascara. This needs a lash or something on it. So I'm gonna go in with the, hi, it's an e.l.f. video. Let's go in with the e.l.f. Plump It Up Mascara. Really good um, for the price point. Are you, are you kidding me? Like, they are just insane. So let's see how this looks with the gloss. But I wanna start off by saying, this collection is definitely giving me like 90s nostalgia. I love it, it's, it's like, giving me exactly what I need. It kind of reminds me of my childhood. Um, I loved the aesthetic of it. Now, let's talk about the formulas. Now, ooh, that's good. I think what really stands out to me was the primer. It was so sticky, but in a really good way. It really hugged that foundation. I'm looking at my skin and I'm like, not, not bad at all. Now, of course, we use the jelly cleanser first. I thought it was actually really cute. I'm not into cleansing all the time. You guys know my skincare routine by now, but I think this is pretty good. I didn't have tons of makeup on to remove to see how it really worked in that sense, but it was cute for the price point. <laughs> Work. Okay, now. What else, you guys? We tried a lot of stuff. Now, the water gel moisturizer was not my favorite. It was kind of basic and not like the best on the planet, but it did work. It was cute. My skin was just kind of like, give me more. Um, okay. The primer, of course, we said, kind of lived for it. I can't wait to use it again. The blush. It was the only thing I wasn't like, obsessed with. I didn't really like how it looked. Me, I'm into, God, look at that cheek though. Woo! I'm into more, like, I just love a powder blush. That's just me forever. All the cream blushes, jelly blushes, not for Jeffrey Lynn. Um, okay. The lip gloss, I love it. I mean, I'm sure you like Jeffrey. It's a lip gloss. I know, but the texture, the smell, the packaging, I think it's all important. And for $5, honey, how can you even say no to that? So, do you need all four? No. I think you need one because it really all kind of looked the same, but when I look in the monitor, it's really glossy. Now, the face and eye gloss, I cannot believe it, but I love it. Normally, I'm not into this type of look. I am into blinding metallics, glitters. I love a highlight moment, um, but this is just kind of different, maybe because it's new for me, but this like no makeup, like kind of makeup look, I'm into it, which is shocking. So, I have an announcement to say, you guys. The e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dewy Primer, the Jelly Pop Face and Eye Gloss, and the Jelly Pop Lip Gloss are all Jeffree Star approved, yes! 
Um, the other stuff, I didn't approve because I wasn't in love with it. And if I'm not in love with the product, you guys, I'm not going to approve it. You guys know the drill on this channel. Also, the brush, it was cute. Very unnecessary. Elf has so many brushes, though. So if you already have something similar, you already have something similar. Um, but, wow, I can't believe that I love a face night gloss. I don't know why I can't get over it. But I'm feeling really pretty. This collection was so fun. It's aesthetically pleasing. And now I want to go suck on an Otter Pop and maybe a Ring Pop. So um, sound off below. What did you guys like on me? What did you hate? By the way, my allergic reaction, whatever was happening, is kind of basically gone. Thank God. I was a little worried. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I was very pleasantly surprised with this collection. And for the price point, you can't beat it. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.